Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on High Pixel Skyblock. So basically the Dwarven Mines are now released. That's right. Now the next major game update to Skyblock is out. And today I'm going to be going over five money making methods. These range from, you know, about a 500k to an hour to 20 million an hour. So these apply to all stages of the game. So make sure to watch the whole video. And this is five money making methods from the Dwarven Mines. Alright, so first and foremost, this is the easiest money-making method, and that is basically just mining. So, I recommend goblin armor. You can also use the glassite armor, however, glassite armor only becomes better than goblin armor um, if you have lower than about 700 intelligence, and if you have a very high mining level. So, for a new player, you probably won't have a very high mining level, and goblin armor is going to give you way more mining speed so i recommend goblin armor as a new player but then with the higher mining level glassite armor actually becomes better than goblin armor so it's very simple all you got to do is just mine these ores and this is really good because as you can see here you can complete the mithril miner quests and get lots of loot from that and of course you get the actual mithrils and by mining these mithrils you can get ores like titanium and titanium sells for actually a decent amount and just by doing this, you can make some decent money. With this, you could just make about 500k an hour, just mining for one hour straight. Because, as you can see, Taj Bazaar, just from that little bit of mining, I already made quite a bit of coins, just very easily, right? Because Mithril actually does sell for a decent amount. As you can see, 221 Mithril sold for 31,000 coins. So, this is very simple, very low requirements. This pickaxe costs literally 10,000 coins, that's it. And the goblin armor is probably like 100,000 coins. Alright everyone, so the next money making method is basically killing mobs. This money making method also has some really low requirements. For example, if I just put on my strong dragon armor and then I get out perhaps an AOTD maybe over here. Let me just get out my aspect of the dragons. This is like a very very easy um, you know, mid game build right here and Basically, with this setup, which is like really, really cheap, probably like not even that many coins, what you do is you can just kill these ice walkers. And the reason that you want to kill the ice walkers is because from the ice walkers, you can get something called glassite. So basically, glassite armor is is this armor right here. And it's actually, it can be better than the goblin armor and it is way better EHP. And along with this, you have these glassite jewels that you get. And as you can see, they're going for a solid, like, you know, 250, 400,000 coins each. So this is actually a really good money-making method. All you got to do is just slap these ice walkers, and you have a small chance to get glassite. And even if you get just two glassite jewels, you have already made 1 million coins in one hour. So just killing these is a really good money-making method, and I, I recommend that you take advantage of it when glassite jewels are still pretty expensive. And as you can see, I just got glassite leggings there. Look at that. I just got glassite leggings. And you can also get glassite jewels. So this is a super good way to make money. As you can see, the glassite leggings right now. As if I search up. Already 400,000 coins. Look at that. This can make you a lot of money as a mid-game player. It's super, super good. And the next part of this is also killing these things called the goblins. So... Along with the ice walkers, there's also goblins. And the good thing is that all of these mobs have super low health and they're really easy to kill. And you can just run around and just kill all of these mobs and you can make an easy 4 to 5 mil an hour just stabbing these. And I really recommend you do it as soon as possible. So yeah, just run around and kill all of these and easy profits are guaranteed. Alright everyone, now the third money making method that you can use from the Dwarven Mines is actually doing all the Dwarven Mine events. So a lot of the time there's these events where lots of goblins spawn and this is just really really easy. However the goblins do quite a lot of damage and it's very competitive. So this is why I'm putting this more as a late game type of money making method. And this event you can get things called Starfall as you can see from the bazaar. If I search up mining, you can get Starfall, and you can get lots of Starfall. These go for about 500 coins each, and you can get some easy profit as well as some goblin armor from the events. Um, so you have to be there at the right time to make the event, and of course it's very competitive, and the mobs do quite a lot of damage. But if you can survive all of this, it's a really, really good money-making method, just getting Starfall and farming mobs in general. These events are really, really good, as well as the raffle event. 
as you can see here, I got some raffle tickets, and doing the raffle event is also a really easy way to make money. Of course, it needs you to have a god potion and like 500% speed with young dragon armor. And you need all this stuff to be able to compete with all of the better players, so obviously anything that needs a competition, like the Starfall event and the raffle tickets, are really good for money, but they're going to be competitive, so you've got to be a little bit more established in the game to do them. Alright everyone, and this is the fourth money-making method, and also by far the most difficult. So, in the, in the Dwarven Mines, one of the most valuable things you can get is actually called a Sorrow, and I've already got one of these before. But basically, a Sorrow makes super expensive Sorrow armor. And if you look at the recipe, uh, here's Sorrow. And these go for, as you can see, 500,000 coins each. But then, um, you know, you can you can easily sell them for a million coins each, and these are called Sorrow. Now, how do you get Sorrow? Well, to get Sorrow, you actually have to kill these, the Ghosts of the Mist. Now, if you're a new player and you went to the Mist, you probably got one tapped. But guess what? These Ghosts can actually be killed. It's not easy, but they can. So, basically for this, you're almost indefinitely going to need something like full Necron armor, Baby Yeti pet, just insane stuff to have enough EHP to su survive. As you can see, I have 55,000 uh, effective health right now, which is completely crazy. But with this, I still, as you can see, take, you know, like three or four hearts of damage from them. And the only way I can really survive is with the Flower of Truth lifesteal. So basically, you just sit here and you just you just kill them. As you can see, easy way to make some money, um, and also few people can actually, it's kind of hard to kill these, so... As you can see, you can just wander around, you don't even have to go near them. Oh gosh, I'm stuck. Alright, yeah. And for this to work, I recommend having ultimate wise 5 on your Flower of Truth, and the Livid Dagger ability doesn't actually do any damage to them, so yeah. I'm not sure how much health these have, they probably have around a million. So for this to work, you're going to need to do like lots of damage, and of course it has, it has pretty high requirements, and even me, with all of this stuff, I'm still barely able to kill them. So this just shows how overpowered they are, and yeah, they really do do a lot of damage. But as you can see, right there, as you can see, I just got a Sorrow. Look at that, I got a Sorrow after like two minutes of killing these guys. And that is an easy 1 million coins in my pocket. Look at that, that's so good for money. And doing this, you can actually make up to 20 million an hour. Because it's so hard to kill these, so if, you, if you're one of the players that can kill them, you're going to be right on top of it and ready. So as you can see, there's this guy in young dragon armor, and he's not going to live for long. As you can see, he just died there, so... High requirements, but it's very much worth it, because the profits are insane by just sitting here and killing Sorrows. But even, as you can see, ooh, even I died over there with 55,000 EHP in the best armor set in the game. So for this, I recommend that you have a cookie on, so you just won't lose your god pot all the time. Um, but if in case you do die, which is, you know, it's going to happen, it's, it's very challenging... Then, just go back here, it takes you like 30 seconds to go back to farming, so honestly it doesn't matter that much if you die. And I really recommend the Flower of Truth, because of the ability, you can hit 3 monsters at once, and you get lots of extra EHP. But yeah, look at this, look at this profit, 2 Sorrows already, and if I go to the AH here, each Sorrow is going for about this much, so I can easily sell this, create auction. I bet I could sell this for 1.2 mil. Look at that. Look at this. 1.2 million right there with the sorrow. Alright, everyone. So that was the fourth money-making method. Obviously, this one has very, very high requirements. But if you can't afford to do it, then I really recommend you just sit down here and farm these guys. I'm not sure if they take magic damage. Um, if they do, then, you know, maybe a Hyperion would work out. Uh, as you can see, look at that. The sorrow instantly sold. Look at that. Instantly. I, I could have put it for even higher than that, actually. And just from this quick video here, I've already made a quick 2 million coins by doing literally nothing. Look at how overpowered this is. Alright everyone, and now the fifth money-making method. Now this money-making method is kind of like it's kind of like auction and bazaar flipping. It takes a little bit of skill, it takes a lot of patience, but basically it is combining armor into other pieces of armor. So for example, sorrow boots. So sorrow boots require you to have 12 sorrow. And that means that if I go into the auction house right now, 
and if I buy 12 of these, then that's going to be about 6 million coins. However, if I look on the auction house, the, books are, the boots are going for 8 million coins. And the reason for this is because you're, people are paying 2 million coins just so that you can buy up 12 sorrows and craft it yourself. So this requires obviously to ha you to have 8 million coins and it requires a lot of patience because these things are being bought out like crazy, meaning that it's going to take you a long time to get 12 of them at a good price. But if you have the patience and you have the money, this is a really good way to make it. As soon as an update drops, just combine all of the fragments or whatever. Look at that. Solar Boots just sold like this. And it's a really good money-making method. All right. So, yeah, guys. That is my five money-making methods for the Dwarven Mines. This Dwarven Mine update makes absolutely madness money. So, I recommend you grab onto these money-making methods. These work for all methods and all types of players. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.